Hi everyone, this is Dr. K. I want to talk about the trend of COVID in terms of mortality uh, today. I uh, recently visited with an ICU doctor and I asked him what his experience was over the last uh, one to two weeks. And he noticed that more and more people are surviving um, when they're coming out of the ICU. And he said that uh, they probably require a longer period of time, either on the breathing machine or BiPAP. Um, so they have to spend time in the ICU, probably 10 days, 20 days, or even 30 days. And the more time we can give them, uh, the chance of recovery are improving. So it seems there is a good trend towards, um, you know, uh, less deaths in uh, COVID-19. Again, each, each region is different, each hospital is different, and, um, you know, each doctor is different. Um, you know, I cannot go by one opinion, but you know, that's that's my personal interaction so far So that's one good news um, So I uh, today is the first day of opening uh, businesses here in Florida. So um, I Didn't see that many cars. So, you know, maybe you know, maybe people are waiting another week to see how things are and then maybe they'll come out We are to wait and see um, what else do I want to talk? So I want to talk about N-acetylcysteine. So N-acetylcysteine is, uh, it's called NAC, N-A-C, N-acetylcysteine. So it's used in, um, um, you know, we usually use it uh, for patients who come into the ICU. If they have uh, Tylenol overdose. They take a lot of acetaminophen, which is the generic name. Tylenol is the brand name. If they overdose on that uh, particular medication, we give them N-acetylcysteine it's a well-known powerful antioxidant uh, what the Tylenol does is it uh, drains out the glutathione so the liver is not able to detoxify properly it, uh, it call, it, the Tylenol overdose can cause liver failure so the n cysteine it replenishes the glutathione stores and by replenishing the glutathione stores you know it has a productive function against the liver it can also help with the immune function so there's uh, some doctors in the functional medicine uh, world who believe that uh, supplementing n acetylcysteine something like 600 milligrams or 900 milligrams three times a day will enhance or boost the immune system and help uh, you know um, either uh, support the immune system or help the immune system fight the COVID-19 virus. And if you're in a situation where you have to take Tylenol while you're having COVID-19 infection, then taking n acetylcysteine will help replenish the glutathione stores. The other way of doing it is you can directly take glutathione either orally, there's liposomal glutathione, or you can get an injection IM uh, into the muscle. So, uh, so those are some ways of uh, protecting against the virus. So I wanted to briefly share that. So look forward to talking to you all. Um, I will, uh, hi Candy, I will visit with you again uh, tomorrow. So uh, more exciting news is going to come up. Um, I recently heard that maybe California State is going to open up sometime later this week. So, um, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll wait and see how things pan out. Okay, have a wonderful night, okay, bye.